Hmm. Brought to you by Grow Generation. Today's episode of the Cantina is whether on Dagobah or Tatooine you are, everything you need to grow right where you are, they have. Later in the episode, more on them you will hear. <laughs> Welcome to a galaxy far, far away. Here at the Cantina Podcast, we provide top shelf service, including rumors, leaks, news, and reviews. Come in, order a Loman Ale, and remember, awesome, no man. droids allowed. I hope so, because the <laughs> intro's already, already ran, and, and this is it, man. and this is the show. This is the Cantina, guys. Welcome Hi. back to it. <laughs> uh, it's the show where we get to talk about all of the things Star Wars that have been, been going on the last week or however long since we, we last spoke, if we ever m- miss a week, which does have happen from time to time. Uh, you guys heard about all the w- wonderful sponsors at, at the front uh, or the sponsor. Uh, make sure you guys are checking out lrmonline.com. Dot com, genreverse.com for, for all your entertainment news needs and, and uh, opinions and entertainment. Uh, um, the uh, LRM YouTube channel, lots of celebrity interviews and all of our podcasts from the LRM Gen- Genreverse Podcast Network. Those are available wherever you get your podcasts from on any app like Spotify, Spotify Google, Apple. Uh, check out all, all of that. Follow those apps. Uh, subscribe on YouTube. We're close to 5,000 5, subscribers. Got guys, it'd be awesome. Christmas gift if we could get another 119 uh, more more subscribers I think think we need it so if you haven't yet if even if the only show, show you like is the Cantina hey hit hit subscribe and every every Friday we'll be here I am Kyle Malone uh, and that is Cam Clark what's up buddy nothing much how are you I'm doing all right I actually just re- realized that I have got uh, the wrong part of our. Uh, screen up that's fine all they did was see a story that we're going to talk about kind of sort of no, nothing secret it's just i'm unprofessional and since i use obs now i can't go back in and and edit and, and post something clever maybe i'll just insult myself uh <laughs> man uh it's been kind of um, kind of in a way a dull star wars week uh, yeah we got some cool boba fett stuff we got some uh, 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 casting news about Sabine Wren two weeks ago, ago almost, right? Or was that la- last week? So that was two weeks we covered that right. previously. Um, but um, yeah, there was another casting then this week for Ahsoka. Mm-hmm. But, I, but nothing, yeah, but, it hasn't been like super, super duper exciting stuff, right? Well, I guess, you know, with Book of Boba Fett coming up, the stuff they want is focused on is, is that is that so yeah. there's not really a lot of other you know news items coming out not a lot of rumors uh, going around at the moment not not only that but after the kind kind of rough day or la- rough week they they had the, the week prior as far as like pr mm-hmm. um and fan reactions not necessarily that i mean let, let's face it there there was some b- bad pr from from uh, Lucasfilm and, and Disney, but a lot of a lot of it was just fan dis- disappointment from pre- previous e- events. Um, that being said, they did release a couple of uh, uh, Bo- Boba Fett teasers, and you know, there's no no need for us to both watch them all all t- you know t- together. But I was I was gonna play them while. While you and I talk about them, I guess I'm going to shrink it down th- this way. Uh, the the first one I was going to play is Message, which I I thought was really uh, a decent uh, little spot using most of the things that that we had already already seen in in uh, the trailer. Uh, the idea of the me- messaging of Fett, how how he's go- going to do do things, which you and I talked a, a lot about. Um, when the first trailer trailer hit, uh, I'm fine with this type of uh, uh, this type of um, my marketing, if if you will. What did you think about that that spot? I mean, I have quite like both spots. I mean, talk, talking about that one specifically. Um, again, I'm not looking for too much more you know I, I kind of feel like I don't need to see any more of the book of Boba Fett they've still got me on 
I'm going to watch it first day it's out anyway. Um, but what I like is that they they still don't seem to be. They've given a little bit more, you know, just a couple of little things to get us talking about. But but really, it's it's just been more of the same or around the same areas that the show is in the main trailer in the first place. Yeah, yeah, and like I like I said, there there this seems to be one one of those stories. I don't ne- necessarily. I mean, it, you, criminal criminal underworld world you always assume it's going to be be layered things but but not layered in as deep as you're trying to connect stuff with Thrawn and Ahsoka and then J- Jaren and the Mandalorians and and I I think we're going to get a good lay, layered criminal story but I don't think we're going to be on a, on the world's biggest mystery hunt w- with this which means you really can't show too much because whatever you show is pro- probably going to be kind of big, right? That's why it's all people walking, p- people moving things, and and the same speeches cut up again and again. Yeah, you can. It's not a bad thing. And, you know, there, there needs to be some sort. I mean, we know the basis of where we start the series. What we don't really have is a through point for where the plot's going in that series yet. And I don't think that's something that they want to give us either at this moment in time, you know. So all we know is Boba Fett's trying to take over, you know, basically the same as we knew from that little teaser at the end of Mandalorian Season 2. We we don't know very much more than that other than, you know, confirmation that that's what Boba Fett's trying to do. Fennec Shan's with him. And as you would imagine, it doesn't look as if everything's going to go ace and swimmingly according to plan. Um, but where that goes, you know, who knows? Yeah. Yeah. Um, the other one that they, they had was called Rain. Rain. And uh, a lot of people got all super excited getting to see uh, bits and pieces of uh, Fett re- recovering in, in the back to tank. A lot of establishing shots. <laughs> Again, the thing with the hel- helmet <laughs> passing. Um, yeah. I, it's again not, not sh- showing showing too much because if you do do you know. But what it does, I think, do that one it certainly. It was, and the ne- the one that previously looked at did as well to a lesser extent is confirmed that there will be flashbacks, there will be mm-hmm. periods set in that sort of past. We'll talk about that a little bit later on in terms of Morrison's own comments on that, one of the stories that we published today, or yesterday, depending on when you're listening to this. Um, yeah, but, I totally but, didn't yeah, even bring it, it up on this I mean, it's screen. just, it's go, just something that, um, that we have assumed and kind of theorised on that 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 would be happening and that we would be getting some sort of flashbacks to what Boba's basically been doing for these last five years, if you like. Mm-hmm. Um, and it appears as if we are definitely getting that. Um, the hangar that we see, the Slave 1 in, sorry, it's not Slave 1, it's now, as we know, rebranded the Fire Spray, but let's just, if my brain goes there, it's just going to go to Slave 1. Um, uh which is what it is interesting is it kind of canonizes the look of that uh, hangar, if you like, from mm-hmm. the Star Wars Battlefront 2 game, in which yeah. the hangar was a playable zone. Didn't have Fett ship in it at the time, it had the sail barge, but you know, the idea of, of the look of it is, is, is very stylistically the same. Yeah. So it's kind of cool that they've kind of kept that. Um, but yeah, yeah, I mean, it just shows us that, I mean, we can see that he's not wearing the suit. He's wearing the, the kind of, you know, robes that he was wearing yeah. before, before, you know, and it's clearly when he goes to pick up the ship and we would imagine there's a couple of scenes that looks as if we're going to find out what happened and how he get out the, um, the satellite pit. And it looks as if maybe the Tuscans might be involved in some way. That's my, you know, I'm thinking there seem to be some Tuscan Raiders in one of the shots. So, I'm guessing the Tuscans might have had something to do with either were there when he gets out or helped him get out. I, I don't know how that will actually come together, but that's my prediction is they're somehow involved or there at the time when it happens anyway. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we, we, we've got 20, by the time people are, are watching this, 26 days, 25 day, days till it till it come, comes out <clears throat> a month, basically. Uh, but 
I mean, look, hey, Sony, take no notice. This is the IT shit. <laughs> this IT shit. Uh, just saying, you don't you don't get give it all away. Um, man, they did have uh, to kind of go into the next uh, bit. Um, magazine uh, S SFX uh, magazine, special effect mm -hmm. effects magazine, uh, and uh, comments in Winter D twenty three magazine. You wrote the, this up, and there's a couple of interesting things in, in here. I brought it brought it up on the screen for, mm -hmm. for everyone. If you want to talk about a couple of quotes that, you know, stood Sure, out to I mean, you. probably easy just to, to talk through the most important parts. First of all, I suppose, um, would be when talking about um, the kind of relationship between Fennec Shand and, and Boba Fett. And also, she kind of does mention the whole fact here, and I'll just read the quote out in a second, that they are... They're not good guys, but they're not bad guys either, kind of thing. So, yeah. And um, she says, well, there's a partnership between the two of them, Fennec and Boba Fett, for sure. They're bonded by the fact that they both lived through a near death experience, and there's a sense of code that they both abide by. Um, and then she goes on to say, so it's going to be really interesting to see how their dynamics grow in the book of Boba Fett. I think that's all I can say. The rest is you have to watch. Not that they're the bad guys, they're not that good either. We are the anti-hero. I like playing an anti-hero. You get away with more, I think. Which is kind of just confirming the way we... Mm -hmm. I've always thought this was going to go as well. We, we, no one wants to see Boba Fett become a good guy. And there was some fans out there that were saying, like, you know, that if, if they're making Boba Fett leave the show, Disney will make him, you know, they'll neuter him, they'll make him a, a good guy or something like that. And, you know, as if there's no appetite for something a bit more. And, and we've talked about this before, how popular things like Sopranos is, just to use a TV example. All right, that's for adults, but you can still have a sense of that in a PG-13 setting. Uh, people always like gangster stories. We like villains. The most popular character in Star Wars is who? Darth Vader. Darth Vader. The bad guy, you know. So, you know, we do like to, to see bad guys. We don't always have to have a hero um, to follow in these things. Um, I won't talk about what she says about geeking out a bit, sort of, um, working with Tamura or anything. I suppose the next um, thing is, is probably, well, we get kind of confirmation in there that they have um, renamed the Slave One Fire Spray. We kind of already had confirmation of that from a few some other people that anyway. Were, uh, um, yeah, so some people were still trying to f fight it. Oh no, it's just the variant comic art. It's like no, guys, there was supple supplemental yeah. things that they that they sent out that you're either not being shown or ig ignoring. Yeah, yeah, we. I mean, we, we knew this. That was, was the case anyway. Yeah. Um, they talk a lot about, about not uh, not saying we're for it, not necessarily saying we're against it. We we understand it. However, do not get upset. At me, yeah, me all I mean, you want. If I say Slave One, you're talking the 37 years exactly. of calling yeah. it Slave One. So it's difficult to get out of that kind of habit. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. I don't particularly like it, but I don't hate it either because it's just the stupid name of a shit and it's no big thing. Uh, certainly not worth getting upset about. Um, I mean, there's better things to get <clears throat> upset about, but it is a dumb decision in my my mind, especially since slavery is something that is covered in to Star Wars, but literally it's it's because they did need to, to make Fett a li little less of a villain and more an anti-hero, but yeah. Yeah, I mean, possibly. Um, and I think the last most interesting thing that came out of this uh, was in terms of Morrison was asked specifically, you know, when we find out what's been happening these last sort of five years since since the end of Return of the Jedi, if you like. And Morrison says there will definitely be a number of answers, some long-winded answers, some short and sharp answers, some colourful answers. We're filling a lot of gaps. Which again just kind of leads into this whole that we're going to be getting some kind of flashbacks that's going to show us um, how we got to where we are as well. So though... And we also found out, obviously, since we recorded last, that it's seven episodes as well, which kind of... Yep. There was a rumour from Jordan Mason that there was going to be a nine. He's come up and said, you know, he's basically burned that source because he just... It's either right or wrong, that sort of thing. So 
Um, it just seems to be one of those things where you get the, the wrong information. Um, but fair enough, it's, it's going to be seven episodes long, so one shorter than The Mandalorian. And if we are getting a lot of flashback time within that, potentially, I mean, I'm not sure how much there would be, but that also gives you less time to work with the kind of ongoing story that's happening from that point forward as well. That can sometimes be a good thing because you can have quite a short, sharp story that's broken up by yeah. how they got there in the first place. It depends how they do it. Are they going to have like little flashes telling you things in each episode or are they going to just like have a flashback episode, you know, that kind of thing where they just have one episode that shows you uh, what's happened in the last five years. Who knows? And we we'll guess we'll find out maybe in a few weeks' uh, time, although but it'll take a few weeks to get into the show as well. Obviously, we'll get seven weeks until we get to the finale, so we don't know exactly how it's going to play out. Yeah, the the one one interest the one interesting thing is uh, just a few few day, days ago, I was actually looking at. Uh, looked up the episode count for for uh a conversation i was ha having with brian uh brian brantley does anime versal reviews with us uh on lrm's youtube channel and lrm's Gen genreverse podcast network wherever you get your podca podcast from <sighs> uh but uh someone had actually recently reported at least g good enough to have the n number eight on like the front page of Google, I remember the the nine from from a while ago. Mm -hmm. um, and when it came out that it was seven, I immediately thought to myself, "Okay, well, maybe there was eight or nine, and they divvy a little bit out." You know what I'm saying? They they increased the run times in others where they could things things in the editing process can especially with these types of shows can change so so flu fluidly i mean i think uh it was uh uh shack shackman on w wandavision was like i think that was that was his name was like yeah we were ed editing the final episode so week of air like the week hmm. it aired we were still f fiddling with the f that final episode was... So, right in the middle of COVID as well, which kind of probably did just stretch right, that one right, right but, to the limit more than most. But yeah, I get what sure, you're saying. But you um, you could could the, the, theoretically, and that's not to sit there and and de deflect anyone from being just right out wrong, wrong either. It's truly a t testament to, to me the the idea that a studio is potentially. Since they have the ability, you would you would hope someone's smarter than 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 me, uh, uh, would have the same idea that hey guys, we could st streamline it a, a bit. It's not that hard to take these frames and slide the these transitions. Why why don't we? You know we've got the te technology. Possible. So, I mean, so I would hope you that that's the kind of thing that that could change right up until yeah release because because they may look at it and they say you know actually this would be you know yeah. this would structure better if we did it did, 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 did. and it's not a you know if you've got most, most things. of the cut it's just a case of we cut and slight, yeah, slightly exactly to, to make that fit so yeah it's possible and i and like i said as a as a wannabe 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 film filmmaker i i if i have an idea like that looking at the available technology i would hope to god someone someone else is but yeah seven episodes you remember back when we were wondering if it would only be like half half of a, a mini series mini, like maybe yeah, four like episodes four. i think we're, that we're was like, one of the would be like early four. reports from deadline that when they i mean i know we covered it first and then they like officially covered this if you like that it was called mm -hmm. book of boba fett and everything and i'm sure it was just really it was either them or if i'm doing them a disservice i apologize or someone rumored it just after that that it was a it was a mini series so we just kind of went okay sounds fine you know and, and went with that but it became apparent that you know that wasn't going to be the case and, by, and by seven book, it's, eight, it's, it's a full yeah. series to me seven when not we, a mini series to me when we were hearing book we were thinking like a book in a in a se series of Ma mandalorian which would be a shorter but i'm thinking of it now the titles like the the book of boba fett some beginnings some middle 
and some some now yeah that's yeah. what i think the the imagery is meant to be now i'll tell you what imagery we do need to have and that's imagery from our sponsors over at grow generation so guys take it away grow generation where the pros go to grow grow generation offers the best deals and discounts on the best grow products on the market grow generation serves customers across the nation and carries a wide inventory of renowned cultivation brands go to www.growgeneration.com where the pros go to grow all right grow generation.com where the pros go to grow guys uh Please do check them out, and if you do, uh, please tell them who sent you, you know, the Cantina over at Genreverse, LRM's Genreverse Podcast Network. And uh, so that way we can get some goodies, like codes, to give you guys or something. I don't know. <laughs> Everyone else on YouTube does. We're like a web website that, that just throws sh- shit at YouTube and see what sticks. And and so help us do, do the thing. Tell them. Anyways, Cam... Uh, we mentioned Ahsoka casting news and, yeah. and the idea that that uh, uh, Sabine, not the idea, it ha- happened. Sabine Wren cast yeah. actress is uh, not very you know what well known known to me, but I'm absolutely fine fine with her casting. She looks like she could fit the fit the part. Yeah. Uh, uh, there was a there was an actor actress I think. Uh, when when we mentioned uh, what was it Mason that had three names he had heard or was that someone else? Yeah, how many, I don't want to bring up the specifics. As well, it had some different yeah, names and they weren't quite right. But you know, yeah, the the only one one that I had kind of want, wanted was the the one that I had seen in uh uh uh, uh Chill, Chilling Adventures yeah. of, of Sabrina, but and that's it's not it wasn't she her. Knew, she was a good. Yeah, actress that, and, that was it. And, yep. You know. Uh, but um, now we got yeah, some not... different news. No, I was going to let you get, get, carry on from there. We've got some different casting news. I was I was only going to say that, you know, I'm oh. excited to see what Natasha Leo Bordizo, who has been cast as Sabine Wren, will yep. do because she looks the part, you know. But yep. obviously I've never seen her in anything either, really. So, you know, some more cast to add to Ahsoka. Uh, Deadline reports that Ahsoka has cast Ivana Sagno in an undisclosed role for the upcoming Disney Plus show. Now, they do say, as far as they've been told from their sources, this is for a, a brand new role. So, you know, there has been a lot of people, who could this be that she's playing, which... When you do a show like Ahsoka that's going to bring back certain people, some of them animated, some possibly live action, then people are are going to look at these things. Um, But as far as the source that's reporting it is saying, they think it's a brand new character, which, you know, introducing new characters is is okay, guys. You know, that's that's absolutely fine. Um, So there's no point, I don't think. I mean, there's not a lot to say about it. It's like, yeah, it should be cast. Don't really know much about her. I haven't seen her in, in much of anything so far. And probably because she's playing a new character, we can't really add any comment or, you know, fear eyes in, in, with regards to that casting in any way whatsoever. So so it's just a kind of case of wait and see. But what is apparent is that Ahsoka is starting to cast some of the roles that they need before moving forward. I am doubtful now because they were cast beforehand and there's been nothing reported officially that they're going to announce Mina Masood or Lars Mikkelsen. I think they're going to keep the whole Ezra Throne thing a mystery, potentially. Yeah. Like, well, either I mean, they might even except show for the up just fact at the Ron end. was na- name dropped already. <laughs> well, I mean, do, I mean, like, are they going to show up in episode two or are they going to, even going to find them by the end no. of the season? Or are we going to get just a post credit scene with, with something to tease a season two? I mean, we have no idea. All we know is both, you know, from our sources, is that both actors had signed on for, for live action. Um, but we haven't had any information yet. I think we will get that in time um, as, you know, cameras roll that's when you start to hear the odd little rumors that, that come I, about so well i think we'll get I'll, an idea of whether i'll, wa- I'll wa- wager th- this i'll wa- wager 500 cre- credits since those don't really really exist or they do but i'll tell which games cre- credits uh <laughs> 500 cre- credits uh that we we do buy 
uh, by uh, celebration get Thrawn. Announced. You think they'll they'll just do that because because he's already been na- name drop. We we get Thrawn. Yeah, but I think I think that is very as a quest for Thrawn and Ezra. They might not want to tip their hand in terms of yeah, she finds them. You know, I know it's obvious, but. But we don't. We don't have to even. Way? It doesn't even have to sit there. They they could even post it as, uh, an appearing in a future series after the events of Ahsoka. We're proud to announce our Thrawn. If if they're I mean, not they going to be they could a big, do it big part, like that, I know, do believe. Could, yeah. I but I do think that having the ca- casting new news of him is a is a good idea. Yeah, I do. I, I believe that's the. It's a smart move. It's a good idea for us since we kind of covered the story well, first of all. Really, yeah, like of course, right. of course. Full <laughs> disclosure, you know, but, legit, but, but but legitimately, the, the the character is well well known in in Star Wars fan, fandom. It's not as well known in the casual Star Star Wars fandom. Sure. Those that follow the the yeah. movies, maybe even more specifically, these last three, three movies. Plus, maybe the the o, o, t, o, t. Uh It is a, a a guaranteed way. Just by you didn't even have to sh- show you and with with any anything. You and McGregor in a in in ca- casual dress walk walk out on a stage. Obi Wan can no no announcing your your th- Thrawn. No no makeup shot. No, nothing. Lars M- Mikkelsen out yeah. in casual t- dress. How they how they say how much involvement or not. We know she's lo- looking for him. It seems like a good p- okay. PR thing so to he, do at here's a my celebration. To, because Obi-Wan has been marketed very differently to all the other Star Wars shows that are coming out. So they've built the hype early for Obi-Wan because they kind of know, we all know where it's going before we even you know get there. So that big ensemble cast was all announced. They haven't done that for anything else. I mean... Most of the cast that are in the book of Boba Fett, which is out in a few weeks, haven't even been announced yet. There's characters we know are in it that we haven't seen. You know, who's playing them? I don't know. Um, And there's going to be, I mean, look at the the trailer, and I can't remember her name, but um, the actress that was so in it was like, oh, so-and-so's in this, you know? Uh, And Mm. there was no... I mean, there was very little rumours about Book of Boba Fett while it was filming. And that seems to be true of volume shows, most mostly. Yeah. Um, so I, I don't know. And this is the Dave Filoni team, you know, and Filoni and Favreau so far have liked to keep a very short leash on, you know, what they, they actually true. reveal. So I'm not so sure we will get to find out That's until true. they decide that you know, until it happens or something like that in the show. And even up to that point, you know, I could even imagine people having to, oh, I deny that I'm in this and all, all that sort of stuff. I don't know, but who knows? We'll, we'll see what happens. Yeah. No, that's a va- valid point. That's a valid point. We'll we'll see what ha- happens for certain. But uh, uh, I'm, I'm excited to see what's going to c- come out of that. I don't necessarily think it's going to be g- good, that you mean the show more worlds? Yeah, yeah that scares the know. crap out of me. I'm a bit, I'm a bit <laughs> slightly concerned about it, but at the same time, I'm kind of excited because I want to see the next step of what happened at the end of Rebels as well, you know. And I, I think it can be a cool story to tie up. But yeah, I share some concerns that you have as yeah. well. My God, and I, I. I don't. E- I don't even like it if they were like, "Oh, guys, guess what? We're gonna use use this, and 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 your precious EU is come coming back, not at the sacrifice of a multiverse." Nope. <laughs> no, thank you. No. Mm. No. No. Not Star Wars. Not Star. Wars. I don't. I don't need. I don't need a a time walking freaking Palpatine. It dep- I mean, it depends Anakin what they do. Or- yeah. Uh, obviously no. always judge it on what it is and how it's used and if it's used with Ta- kid time gloves, walking time walking Ray go, no let's just go back in no. time Marty let's go back in time <laughs> we've got the world between walls we can do it you know Cam, we can get it up to 1.21 gigawatts 
<laughs> I'm so scared of it. I really, I really am. Uh, no, but let's let's talk about a, a ca casualty, a casualty in Star Wars. Yeah. Crash and burn. Yeah. Rangers of um, the New Republic. It's, it's gone. Bye bye. Um, we Poor Bill thought Burr. That's I wanted bit something with anyway. that. Because, um, you know, we had heard it was no longer an act of development. And I kind of feel like, even though I must admit, this is a show I kind of cared least about, I kind of feel some kind of connection to it because we were the first ones to reveal that, mm -hmm. that Lucasfilm were doing a show starring Gina Carano as Cara Dune. And although. That, that was it, by the way, guys. If, if anybody was ever in any doubt that was Rangers of the New Republic, although we didn't have the name of the show at that point, maybe they didn't, didn't even have the name of the show at that point. I mean, uh, it was announced, as everyone knows, Disney and Vesta Bay. They the Republic uh, Rain Marshal thing on her or whatever, Ranger thing. Yeah, on yeah. Her. I mean, there was a little bit of, I think, of teasing where that was yeah. going in Mandalorian Season 2. And, of course, everyone knows that Gina Carano then posted some stuff online that Disney didn't like. And while they never officially fired her, they just didn't offer her any more work. And yep. that meant the Rangers of the New Republic was kind of a bit screwed, if you like. Um, we had heard a rumour that they were looking to possibly retool it with he Harris and Jula in the lead role. And I know there was a lot of fans kind of really excited by that. Then there was just radio silence, you know, like after that, we just heard nothing about it. So through our sources or through anyone else's sources. And the longer that went on, until we heard that whole not an active development thing, you kind of just thought this this isn't happening now. Um, and that that's what it appears to be. Kathleen Kennedy um, and the coverage that Empire Magazine had, um, which we were covering kind of last week. This is just one of the stories we never got it in time to cover for our last cantina show um, and here's what she said about um, Rangers of the New Republic we'd never written any scripts or anything on that, some of that will figure into future episodes I'm sure of Mandalorian and that kind of tells the tale for what it is they didn't, they weren't that far along with it, they had an idea, they had pitched an idea that everyone wanted to go with and it was going to connect to all the other shows and now they're not pushing ahead with that show. They have to do a few things differently that they had planned. Therefore, some of what they had pitched, some of their ideas, I'll probably find their way into some of the other shows, specifically maybe even The Mandalorian. But I think when we're talking Mandalorian, we have to look at that whole ensemble piece and any other shows that, that come after. I mean, now there's only really two Mandalorian, so three, sorry, Mandalorian, Ahsoka, and the Book of Boba Fett. So yeah. who knows what might have came out of the ashes, if you like, of Rangers of the New Republic, it could mean that Mandalorian's better than what it would have been if that had happened. I mean, we just don't know, so you just have to look at it positively at this moment in time and, and hope that it all works out for the best. I just hope we get Bill Burr back, back in what we had hoped. We never... It was all just hope, hopes and dream, dreams of, of uh, his char character... Uh, yeah, yeah, being a we part of Ra Rangers. Um, we so... had heard through our old friends at KRT are no longer running anymore that Bo Katan was supposed to be in the Gina mm -hmm. Carana show as well. That was the only other rumor we'd really heard about that at all. But yeah, we we theorized it might be a great place for Bill Burr to show up as well, Mayfield. But Mayfield I kind of feel like he's coming back in season three of The Mandalorian. I hope you know, so because of the comments, comments earlier. Yeah, big, but I NDAs hope, yeah, and I can't to, say. As we and talked yada. about, he's a major character to that show now, and oh, you yeah. want to see more of him. He's got a story arc that we want to follow going forward. So bring back Migs Mayfield is all we will, we will say. Cantina supports the return of yes. Migs Mayfield. Hashtag return. Um, yeah, hopefully, but you know, we'll see. We'll wait. <sighs> So, Cam and Christine, you want to watch a video? <laughs> it's ah, uh, this is kind of rough, rough looking, guys. So, so the um, Galactic Star Cruiser video, Cam, did, did you see it? The sneak peek from uh, three days ago? No, I saw that it was there, but 
didn't have that much interest in it. Oh. I haven't oh, thought that oh, I'll no. never visit it. So hey, I didn't Christine, look. Come here. You're, you're going to want to hear, hear this, Christine. Uh, Cam, you, you, you can. I'll share the screen here in a second for you. Sure. Uh, this is the. I'm going to actually. So that way I can make it full screen. For me and Christine, I'm going to just kind of shrink this down for them. And then, uh, Cam, like I said, when I uh, when I hit the share screen button, you're you're gonna have to you're gonna be frozen. So uh, pick how you want to be frozen in in three, two, one. <laughs> there, there we go. That is a go gorgeous share screen. Cam, can you see this? Okay. Yes. Okay. Here we go, guys. Let's check the, this out. Get enough volume, Hello Christine. there. I'm super excited to see what you and your team created. Maybe. We cannot wait to have you aboard because Star Wars Galactic Wait a minute, that guy looks like a short Hayden Christensen. Experience where you get to uh, spend two days doesn't he? Maybe that's on purpose. Living out your very own I'm not, Star Wars I'm not sure. Oh, I'm just too excited. We, we gotta go inside. Ugh. Okay. This is their big it's reveal, so dude, dude. Wow. This is unreal. That looks like so fake. <laughs> like so 3D printed. Except it's not a movie, right? You get to be in the middle of it all and in the middle of the action. Mm. And then there's activities you can do on here. Yeah, there are activities on board the ship. Yeah. What I'm really excited about is lightsaber training. But we're just seeing pictures of them. The we also so just hold, hold, hold on, Cam. This is brilliant training. marketing. Just, just, just. Where we can it's go to brilliant. brilliant. Focused on making sure we have some of the best entertainment in the galaxy I, on board. One the over the top so excited about is this YouTuber reaction stuff makes me want to choke. Not not. If this person's over a eighteen, I I could be brought to to throw down down. Out of a anger. <laughs> no, hold on, guys. This is what I wanted you to see. This is how they want, want to advertise the Galactic Star Cruiser, the $5,000 hotel. This is for your five five thousand dollars This is to convince you. He, he's Cam, loving it. This is to convince you to... to to want to see the, this. Uh, I'm so. What do you think, Christine? Scram. Oh, yeah, sure, sure, sure. <laughs> How unhappy I am. Can, can you imagine? Can you imagine that, Cam? I was just in there, the lights were mm. And this performer just came out of nowhere. You just it, met Gaia. She was incredible. Let's get you back to the launch pod in your home planet. Sounds great. All right. That's. This was what the what the what the why 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 and moral hello there like like just the look on your face just just the just the, the fact that like that that's the that's the mar marketing campaign to get get you to spend five thousand no shut up and take I my money no uh, no, that's, that, that didn't entice me in. No, um, you know. Oh my god. Thank you for wasting Go to time. any bar and watch someone sing for a lot less uh. than 5,000 pounds. Surely you could watch, like, I don't know, somebody good. If you went to Vegas and paid 5,000 pounds, you could probably go and watch someone in Vegas. That would be better than that, I'm guessing. But, uh, yes. I mean, I guess that's only maybe something that they do for entertainment at the bar but as you say it's fine to have that like you know if that's a take it or leave it activity but i wouldn't lead with it in terms of how i would market the attractions but i think the problem you're seeing is they want people to book early for this they want to make money off it before it's ready the problem is it ain't ready it ain't ready because all those the, the things that we we would want to go for were just pictures 
they were just static pictures like this is what it will look like when it's finished yeah and here's another picture of what it might look like if you were really enjoying yourself when it's finished but at the moment we've got the bridge finished and the girl singing in the bar and, and that's it yeah. the rest of it not quite ready yet so sorry about that and and that kind of doesn't entice anybody to sign up except the absolute crazy acts that have to be first at everything Mike's probably salivating at that video and he's already booked his ticket he probably literally is like take my money now um, I just who is that? A, who is who is the si- singing tw- Twilight aim, aimed at? Don't ask me. I mean, my musical I, knowledge stopped in about 1982. So, dude, but what, what I'm saying is, I don't know a single Star Wars fan my my age that would want to see that. I mean, uh, if I was sitting getting <laughs> smashed at a bar, I don't mind someone singing in the background. You know? No, but but the idea, but idea that know. that would be on your schedule to to go experience that. Yeah, I'd skip that. But unless it was just you know, well, just sitting with a drink and it's in the background. Now, if it's the lounge singer, it. absolutely, that's fine. Fine, part of immersion. But the idea is that I'd this is a sk- something like uh, Star Wars like, scheduled do, 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 thing, Yeah, that I mean that would what if somebody yeah. they actually had proper guys suit up or the Max Rebo but, band, you know what I mean? But even even then, you're 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 sh- showcasing it, like I said, in, in marketing as a show, like the when you go watch the singing Frozen show. Hey, hey, everyone! Let's mm. let's go watch the the Cantina Singer sh- Show. Maybe That's what I'm saying. And who's so that, that advertised at? You know, maybe it's so that you know when the dads are like, "Hey, kids, this year we're going to go to you know the Galaxy Star Cruiser," and the daughters like, "I want to go back to Frozen World again this year, mm-hmm. thanks, Dad." And they're like, "But look, they have songs at Star Wars World as well. You'll love it. They have princesses." Yeah. Honest, yeah. I don't know. That's the only thing yeah. I can think of. Anyways. But um, yeah. Well, well it looks the... just such a corny advert, though. It's just such a badly put together advert. I mean, knowing that it's scripted and having that guy, I don't know if we call that acting, but um, you know, it's not very good acting, and you know, it's written so badly as as well. You know, that's. You know, you could have done something so much cooler than that and showed so much less and still enticed people in. I think that you're kind of, you're trying to attract. The Star Wars fans that have £5,000 to spend, guess what? They're not going to be 15, 16. They're going to be in the 40s if they've got that kind of money to spend. I, I'm not saying I have that m- money, but our age, you know, yeah. the high 30s, is, yeah. low 40s. Yeah. It cost me an extra few thousand just to fly over anyways uh guys i think that'll about wrap, wrap it for the can cantina the this week lrm on online.com all all of our content is there all the written articles all the podcasts the interviews er, everything go, goes up here so bookmark it save it whatever genre verse podcast network from L- lrm online line uh, Marvel Multiverse Mayhem. We just put put up our ho- Hawkeye episode three, and um, uh, I can see it on the screen. Spider Man Home Homecoming review, uh, the Daily Cog, uh, the Dragon review, viewed our World of Time uh, podcast, which is uh, really Wheel really time. unique. We- Wheel of Time. So sorry. Why well, I keep trying to say World of t- Time? Yeah. <laughs> Fucking World of t- Time. We live in a wor- world of time, man. man. <laughs> Uh, Whoa! And, uh, <laughs> no, Heavy, uh, anime, anime ver- versus reviews, and you guys are lis- listening to the Cantina. All of that, along with a lot of celebrity interviews, red carpet, zo- Zoom interviews, in in person, all on L- LRM's YouTube channel. Hey guys, like I said, we're we're setting real real close to five five thousand s- subs. If you haven't subscribed yet, it'd be great if you could help us out. You know, with that awesomeness before. New, New Year's, and then uh, yeah, I I said everything else. Social media information for us is that down below. Cam, you got anything else you you want to say? Nope. Ned, I apologize for for any edit, editing issues. I still get 
bogged down with OBS guys. May, may the force be with you.